Hi everyone. Today we are doing yoga for recovery. This is great for after an activity or when you're really feeling like you need to take some time to really slow things down and stretch it out. So whenever you're ready, grab your mat and let's get started. We're going to start in a child's pose. Bring your toes together, knees apart, setting your hips back onto your heels. Forehead resting down on the mat. Starting to lengthen your inhales and your exhales. Scanning down through your body, noticing how you feel at the beginning of the practice. Pressing up onto all fours, taking a big inhale, arching your back. Exhale, round. Twice more, just like that. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, round. Big inhale, lift your right arm up. Sweeping it through and across your body, placing that right shoulder down on the mat, coming into a twist. Keeping that breath nice and slow and deep. Pressing into the left palm, lifting up the right hand. Exhale, release, same thing up and over on the other side. Big inhale, left arm lifts. Exhale, sweeping it through across your body. Pressing through that right palm, take a big inhale. Left arm lifts. Exhale, coming back onto all fours. Tucking your toes, lifting your knees up off the mat just for one moment here before taking it up and back into your downward dog. Maybe you have a deep bend in the knees in your downward dog, pedaling out through the feet, bending through one knee, then the other, just swaying the hips side to side. Just taking some time to explore here, really see where you can find a kink that you'd like to work out. Really making this your own. And walk your palms back to meet your feet. Gentle bend in the knees as you make your way there. Maybe easy sway side to side. Clasping the elbows if that feels nice. And stepping on the hands, placing the tops of the hands down onto the mat. So you have the palms of your hands pressing against the bottoms of the feet. Gentle rock back and forth. Feeling the differences in the stretch with the different pressures that you place on your feet and your hands. Releasing your hands, walking them back into your downward dog. And taking a big inhale, right leg lifts, down dog split. Bending through the knee, opening up the hip. Sweeping the right leg to the outer edge of the right hand. Keeping that back knee lifted just for a moment. Rocking yourself back and forth. Easy sway as we start to Get into the hips a bit. Bringing that back knee down, untucking those back toes, keeping that sway, maybe rocking a bit side to side.
Coming into an easy twist, pressing that right hand on that right knee. If you want to take it a bit further, bending through the left leg, grabbing a hold of that foot with the right hand. Releasing the back foot, trying not to slingshot it down, but just letting it go nice and slow. And walking that front leg to the center of the mat. Palms on each side, back toes tucked, shifting your hips up and back, straightening out through that front leg. Gentle rock, if that feels nice. For a deeper stretch in your soleus muscle and into the calf, grabbing a hold of the outer edge of the right foot with the left hand and just taking that foot and ever so slightly, this is a really slight, really small movement, just giving it like an energetic shift over to the left side, feeling the stretch through the outer edge of that right ankle, that right calf muscle. It's really great if you run a lot or do some type of repetitive motion in your feet, your ankles, your legs. Releasing that, shifting your hips forward, coming into a low lunge. Exhale, pressing it back, runner stretch. Twice more, just like that big inhale forward. Exhale, back. One more time, inhale. Exhale. This time as you shift forward, tucking your back toes, lifting up, straightening out through the legs, maybe bringing the back foot in a bit, coming into a pyramid. You can keep that easy rock, that gentle sway, or you can settle into stillness. Bending through both knees, leaning back a bit before coming forward into a forward fold. Rounding up to stand, taking a big inhale, arms lift. Exhale, fold, clasping your hands back behind you. Nice shoulder stretch. Releasing the hands, planting down the palms, making your way back into your downward dog. Getting ready to do the same thing up and over on the other side. Take a big inhale, left leg lifts, down dog split, bending through the knee, opening up the hip. Sweeping it forward to the outer edge of that left palm, keeping the back knee lifted for just a moment as you rock a bit back and forth. Bringing down the back knee, untucking the toes, maybe bringing in a gentle sway side to side. Starting to twist to the left. Pressing that left palm on the left knee. If you want to go a bit deeper, taking it back, grabbing a hold of the back foot. No slingshots as you release the foot, bringing the front leg to the center of the mat, shifting your hips up and back into your runner stretch. 
keeping that easy sway. Really feeling into a space that you can breathe your breath in and get a deeper stretch. If you want to work on that soleus muscle, the calf, all of that going on down there, grabbing a hold of the outer edge of that foot ever so slightly, taking it over to the right side. And shifting forward into your low lunge, taking it back, runner stretch, twice more just like that. Inhale forward, back, sending it forward one more time, and shifting it back, tucking your back toes, straightening out through your legs, lifting up your hips, folding over that front leg. Coming into your pyramid. Bending through the knees, shifting back to come forward into that forward fold. Heel toe, heel toe. Your feet to the edges of the mat. Heels on the mat, toes off the mat. Sinking down into a squat, maybe gentle rock side to side, really getting into those hips. Bring your hands back behind you for an easy landing, coming into a nice easy seat. Feet together, knees apart. Big inhale lifts you up through your spine. Exhale, stay here if this is enough of a stretch for you or start to bring it forward. From there, coming into a nice cross-legged seat. One foot in front of the other, doesn't matter which, we're gonna do both sides. And just starting to walk it out. Maybe you're up here, maybe you're down here, it doesn't matter, just feeling the stretch throughout the hips. Maybe rocking side to side through the hips, through the upper body. creating a bit more space with that movement and breath. From here, walking up again, and whatever leg is out in front, you're going to keep that leg out front. So my right leg is out front, so I'm going to take the left leg, just swing it back, coming into a pigeon. Obviously, if you have the left leg out front, you're gonna take the right leg back, taking a moment to really settle into this before taking it closer to the ground. So taking a big inhale, arching through your back. Maybe this really feels nice and you wanna stay here, that is awesome. If you really wanna focus more on the legs though, taking it down towards the mat. Starting to walk it back up. If you're not there already, taking another big inhale to arch. Exhale, opening up to the left side if your right leg is out front, the right side if your opposite leg is out front. Keeping that front leg bent, back leg out straight, 
and just tipping it up and over towards the back of the mat. Front arm lifts up, really getting a nice side stretch towards the front of the mat. And turning towards the straight leg, you're facing the back of the mat now, just folding over that back leg, flexing through the toes, bringing them towards your face and your body to get a deeper stretch throughout that calf muscle. And coming up, bending through that leg so your opposite leg will be out front. You're facing the back of the mat. You're just gonna walk it out. We're gonna do the same thing up and over on the other side. We're just gonna do it from the back. From here, coming up, swinging that leg around, coming into your pigeon. Taking a moment to settle in. Big inhale to arch through your back. Exhale to stay or to fold. On your next inhale, making your way back into that arch, stretching through the upper half of the body and opening it up, keeping that leg bent. We're going to be working our way towards the front of the mat now, but first leaning over, feeling a nice stretch through that side body. your way to fold over that front straight leg, really flexing through those toes, getting that nice deep stretch. Bending through both legs, coming back to sit, nice cross-legged seat. Doesn't matter which leg is crossed in front now or whatever you have going on there is perfectly great. And to close it off, we're going to take a big inhale, lifting your arms up, exhale, tipping over to the right, left arm stretches towards the front of the mat. Bringing that left hand down onto the right knee, coming up to a twist. Sending it through center, tipping it over to the left, really taking that right arm towards the back of the mat. Pressing that right palm down on the left knee, twist. Taking a big inhale, arms lift, plenty of palms together, bring your thumbs into your chest, closing your eyes for just a moment. Taking a big inhale up through your nose. Nice long exhale out through your mouth. and opening your eyes whenever you're ready. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and in the comments, let me know what you are recovering from. Is it a run, a hike, were you biking? Just let me know in the comments what you're up to. I would love to hear, and I will let you know my favorite thing to do right before this practice in the description box. I will catch you next time.